uh, the management of Biocom there, remember they posted a pat of uh, 92 crore rupees versus 85 crore rupees. That's an 8 percent jump here on your sales also uh, fairly okay. Uh, about closer to 23 percent growth YOY for the sales, the top line growth there coming in at 600 and 60 crores versus 536 crores uh, year on year. Uh, so overall, um, you know, she pointed out that the nine month performance seen a 23 percent to bump up earlier on and she said that the increase in revenues and has an 11 percent EBITDA growth which is attributable to volume expansion as well as price increases with overall export realizations being good. So all in all, uh, you know, Ms. Kiran Mazumdar Shaw is pretty pleased with the overall performance of Biocon and she's definitely talking about overall growth even in terms of a market share gain in the biosimilar insulin business in the rest of the world markets and that she says now accounts for a significant part of their overall business. Uh, so they, she's also pointed out to several approvals which uh, the company has received. Let's hear it. Good morning. I am very pleased to announce that uh, Biocon has delivered another robust set of numbers. I am delighted that we have beaten street estimates. Uh, we have delivered a 23% uh, year-on-year growth um, and uh, in, on the quarterly uh, basis we have uh, uh, certainly done extremely well. We have had a very good set of numbers considering the fact that we've had very little licensing income this quarter and uh, we are pleased that we have also at a nine monthly lev uh, level uh, the group has delivered a 23 percent year-on-year growth from about 1500 crores to 1900 crores um, this is uh, also uh, factoring in the increased R&D spend which has uh, accounted for uh, in terms of uh, our overall business at a level of 141 crores, uh, 121 crores, a 44 percent increase over the last uh, year for the same period. Our, um, of course, material and power costs have also increased 20 percent um, given the uh, depreciating rupee which has pushed up our imports. Uh, power costs uh, also have gone up uh, significantly uh, in, 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 you know, as a response to increased power costs uh, in general. Uh, our staffing costs also have increased uh, and this basically reflects the increased uh, recruitment that we have uh, uh, seen over the last nine months. Uh, and uh, uh, despite uh, these uh, increased uh, additions, uh, I am delighted to say that we have uh, delivered uh, a very strong set of numbers. Um, our business overall has done extremely well across all verticals. Uh, our uh, research services business continues to uh, drive strong growth. We have uh, grown 34%. Uh, for over the last nine months. Our biopharma bus business particularly has done extremely well. We have uh, grown 17 percent at a year-on-year -year level and within this I am very pleased to say that uh, our insulins in uh, you know rest of the world markets have actually grown extremely well. Um, branded formulations have also delivered on a year-on-year -year basis uh, a 34 uh, percent growth uh, I'm very uh, confident that we will deliver um, steady and good growth across all verticals and I'm confident that we will uh, finish this year on a very strong note. Uh, on other fronts, uh, you can see that our uh, increased R&D investments uh, is also reflecting uh, important uh, milestones that we have reached. Uh, the recent um, uh, you know, approval of our novel biologic, the anti-CD6 itolizumab, uh, is basically an endorsement of uh, the rich dividends that we are going to accrue by investing in R&D. So our R&D model is beginning to pay off. We believe that the investment made in itolizumab development thus far uh, in, for India development itself uh, will uh, 
uh, you know, be paid back to us uh, over the next four years. We also expect this uh, asset to now uh, look at global advancement, which also uh, means that this particular approval enhances uh, the asset value of this uh, potentially global uh, drug. And uh, in terms of our insulin's portfolio, uh, we have concluded our one-year uh, evaluation trial for immunogenicity for recombinant human insulin. So we expect to be compiling and getting our dossier ready for marketing approval for Europe. So that's a very important trigger for us. Uh, we are all set to start uh, phase three global trials for our insulin glargine having successfully completed our phase one uh, uh, PKPD study for the same drug. And uh, this is also a very important uh, event for us. We will do this as soon as we uh, you know, complete uh, certain uh, regulatory discussions with US FDA. Um, and uh, overall, I think we are making very good progress. Our trastuzumab, the biosimilar product that we are developing with uh, with uh, myelin for uh, metastatic breast cancer also has entered phase three global trials. Uh, All right, uh, Kiran Mazumdar Shaw, they're highlighting the numbers for Biocon stocks up 2%. And uh, Mr. Vilan is still.